Hi guys, this is JasonOne.com and I'm here with the unboxing of the Asus Zenfone 10, one of the most compact phones of the year 2023. At the same time, it's a handset which uh, banks a lot on one hand usage, aided by a side key with smart features. Okay, so this unboxing is going to focus on the box itself, but also some of the impressions regarding the device. Asus has expanded the color availability for the device. There are now five colors. We have here the black version, there's also a, a red one, blue and green, plus uh, a, uh, well, uh, white version. Okay, so let's fire up the device, see what it's all about. You can already tell it's a compact phone and aside from Asus, not many other companies are dropping below 6 inches in diagonal these days. The starting price is $799 and Asus still believes in the idea of using a gimbal for the camera. Vivo has given up on that, so basically Asus is left alone with this gimmick or useful feature, depending how you see it. Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor inside, as usual for a flagship, and a customizable interface which can be closer to stock or closer to Zen UI. Okay, that pretty much sums it up, and now it's time to see what's available inside the box. Okay, so we start off with this envelope here, which holds a case. And we should also have a key here, used to access the slots, and a manual in search of incredible user guide. Now let's see what the case is all about. Asus keeps offering us chargers, cables, cases. Well, most companies seem to be dropping the, well, at least the chargers. It's more of a bumper case from what I can see. And uh, there's also another official case promoted these days, which has a sort of a well, special support stand used for video watching, even though the small device isn't exactly ideal for video watching. Okay, we move further inside the box where we find extra accessories, such as this charger here. It may not be one of those impressive 200 watt or 120 watt chargers, but it's well compact and offers 30 watt charging and a an USB C port. Rather typical, I say. Um, I have quite a few of those at home, 30 watt chargers. And finally the cable from USB-C to USB-C. That's everything available inside the box. Uh, it's a pretty low key box, nothing out of the ordinary, uh, color wise and design wise. And I've seen this logo before when Asus turned 30 years old, they kept applying this logo, which reminds me of a uh, Star Trek icon that one used to beam people up by pressing it on the chest. Okay, so back to the phone itself. Uh, I would say that the texture of the back is very grippy, but also seems to be a magnet for lint and dust. This, uh, well, adherent texture. Now, aside from that, it's a unique look with these two large back cameras. Um, Asus has accustomed us to this look even from the past year or so. Okay, so let's increase the brightness a little bit and see what the handset is all about. Once again, one of the lightest on the market, 172 grams. Pretty thick at 9.4 millimeters, but the width is something to behold. Six, um, excuse me, 68.1 millimeters in width. So one of the narrowest handsets on the market. As you can see, my uh, large finger can reach most areas of the screen, if not all. So that's what it's uh, banking on the idea of a very compact and very easy to wield phone. Fits one hand easily. Uh, not very sure about the whole IP certification thing. As far as I know, it doesn't have any IP certification, but I have to look into it. Now the screen you are seeing here, it's a 5.92 inch AMOLED panel, Full HD+. What impresses me is the 144Hz refresh rate, which is only applied to games, by the way. Now, uh, it's also pretty powerful, even though it's so small, it has a Qualcomm Snapdragon 8 Gen 2 processor. And there are three configurations here, 8 gigs of RAM and 128GB of storage, 8 and 256, and one with 16 and 512. We're lucky enough to have that, 16 gigs of RAM and 512GB of storage. Of course, it's LPDDR5X and UFS 4.0 respectively. There's no love for microSD here, but we do have a pretty decent battery for this screen size. 4300 milliampere hour, there's 30 watt wire charging and 15 watt wireless charging, and also a steady charge technology which lowers the temperature. We also have stereo speakers, there's one at the bottom, and we also have the earpiece at the top side, and we can do a bunch of tweaks using the whole audio wizard thing. So if you go here, and let's see, let's maybe start looking for it. I'm guessing that it's been implemented as an application, 
audio wizard nope not an app so maybe a setting or maybe accessible from here here we go audio wizard we got enhanced gaming audio we got rich immersive clear sound we got personalized sound experience and then these customizations courtesy of dirac so base enhancement is available and a lot of tweaks here to improve your experience now aside from that we have the side placed button here the smart key the fingerprint scanner in the power button you can also swipe on it to scroll through web pages and even scroll through youtube videos believe it or not on the connectivity side of things it should be wi-fi 6e but it's actually wi-fi 7 ready we got bluetooth 5.3 we got nfc and usb-c so yeah we have quite a few features here i kept mentioning the side placed button without actually detailing it so if you go to the advanced section and smart key and swipe you're going to see that the actions done by swiping on it are the follow you can refresh web pages go to previous or next web pages go to the end or home of pages stream videos or media previous or next so it's a useful feature if you want to simplify your actions and gain even more one hand use functionality now it's time to talk about the cameras things are pretty straightforward so the cutout here the punch hole holds a 32 megapixel camera which combines four pixels in one to output 8 megapixel shots at the back side we have dual camera the rumors were wrong we don't have a 200 megapixel shooter we have a main 50 megapixel shooter with six axis hybrid gimbal stabilization 2.0 and f1.9 aperture the secondary camera is a 13 megapixel shooter ultra wide 120 degrees you're going to be performing ozo audio recording with special wind reduced sound and 3d surround by the way the audio jack is still here and since we're talking about the camera still I should probably also mention that um, we have uh, here a bunch of useful modes like pro and pro video and night there's also the new light trail which doesn't only apply to the cars passing by at night but also to waterfalls and a flow of people there's the panorama there's the portrait here which also applies a zoom and by the way the zoom is applied uh, on this phone up to 4x by using the details from a raw file and clearing up the shot so improved digital zoom is available here this is the regular photo this is video where you can go as high as 8k 24 frames per second that's hdr video and adaptive stabilization including electronic adaptive stabilization time lapse and slow-mo are also part of the package there's quite a lot to unpack here as far as the camera is concerned there are many features but i think i'm going to leave some for the well review um, there's an interesting feature here where you can take three pictures in 1.7 seconds with the screen off just with a double press of a volume button not sure which and not sure how i can activate it but i will dig into the settings so the idea is that if you double press the power button you should be able to take pictures very fast when the screen is off and you see something interesting the software of choice here is actually nope uh, the software of choice is actually uh, android 13 here and it has zen ui on top and Zen UI is pretty low key aside from the smart key thing it doesn't interfere with your activity that much the options are pretty straightforward i see digital well-being i see the privacy area the privacy dashboard i see also this customization area wallpaper styles accent colors and as you can see i'm using gestures to navigate around the experience i'm not sure if i forgot anything the always on display features should also be available and here you have quite a few quick settings well useful ones screen recorder and so forth um, i'm going to go back to the advanced section because here we have the smart key we have the mobile manager to keep the resources in check we have the game genie for gamers which is basically uh, taken and borrowed from the asus rog handsets useful for gamers and then we have the twin apps you can run two accounts in these apps on the device very useful feature and edge tool which I actually forgot to show you basically a sidebar from here not sure if it's activated or not you can also hide it when playing games and that's about it there's the optiflex for your resource management and a clipboard toolbar and more and a pocket mode and a glove mode so there's a lot here to unpack and a lot to tweak there's even a one hand usage mode where you drop the image to half of the screen so once again just like last year the core is actually split in two for asus improved stabilization via gimbal and improved one hand use especially relying on the well smart key you just saw me swiping on it to trigger the notifications and quick settings area with a quick swipe and also if you're in a web page let's say 
were on our sister site web page. You should be able to freely scroll on it and go higher or lower in the page, hopefully. But it's tweakable, so hopefully you can get it to work till the review is done. I was actually expecting that by swiping on it, I would be able to, uh, well, scroll through the page. Anyway, maybe once we get it properly loaded, maybe now. No, anyway, we still have to get accustomed to it, the whole swipe thing, uh, maybe tweak it from the settings. So this has been the Zenfone 10 unboxing in a quick nutshell, focused on stabilization, focus on one hand use and a smart key, which I definitely have to learn more about. Now, I'm pretty curious about the battery life here. I'm pretty curious about the performance and I'm very curious about that whole uh, screen of picture taking thing. And of course, the whole um, zoom from the raw file. We'll be back with more pretty soon. Goodbye.